Spring is our windy season, so you may have gusts on your mind lately. Well, here's CTV meteorologist Corey Adel to explain everything you always wanted to know about the wind. For wind, I thought I would start off by talking about the windiest months, which are April and May. When you factor in the wind speeds, they average out to 14 kilometers per hour. June follows in at third at 13. Every other month, average wind speed is 10 to 12 kilometers per hour. And that might seem, not seem like a big difference, but that's an average over 30 days. So it can be significant. As we take a look at wind gusts over 51 kilometers per hour, April sees on average about one day. May on average about one day as well. Well, as of this April, we saw three days with gusts over 50 kilometers per hour. So we saw more than average days with wind gusts above 51 kilometers per hour. So if you thought it felt a bit on the windy side this spring so far, that has been the case. Now let's take a look at what causes wind. It's a difference in air pressure. So here's an analogy with pop cans, which have a higher pressure inside the can compared to what is outside. So in an attempt to restore balance in the differences in air pressure, in this case between the inside and the outside of the can, once you open it, there's a release of gases, almost like a little bit of a wind, and it's trying to restore balance, equalize the pressure between the can and the atmosphere. Once that happens, that wind dies down. And if you have a can that has even higher pressure, the difference will create more of a wind. So let's relate that to the real world weather situation. When you have two different air masses, one of high pressure and one of low pressure. Now these white lines around are called isobars. They're lines of equal pressure. This is a weak high pressure system, a weak low pressure system. If that is the case, the small change in pressure, again, the atmosphere trying to create balance will create a weak wind between the two. But if you have greater lines of pressure between the two systems, so more intense high pressure system and low pressure system, trying to restore the balance, the atmosphere will create stronger winds, trying to balance between the high pressure and the low pressure. And that's always the way the wind goes, from high to low. That'll be the case if you have higher pressure in your home and you open up the windows, it'll go from higher to low and vice versa if the pressure is higher outside. And that is what causes wind.